what is going on with Zero Productions here? Welcome back to another video. So today I have a little bit of advance work for news, and this is regarding the BOW 27. Now I'm very I'm kinda excited to announce this news because in case you never noticed, alright, when the BOW first came out on on past gen consoles when the bow when the BOW first came out on past gen. The recoil was non-existent, right? You know, there was literally 0% recoil on the gun, and if you looked at next-gen gameplay, the battle actually had a little bit of recoil. Now, what I'm saying here is, such hammer so-called, or apparently came out with an update that increased, or nerfed, the bow 27, and by this, I mean giving it a ton and ton of recoil. Now, have I noticed that? No, I haven't noticed that. And I don't know why I haven't noticed that. But for some reason, I haven't noticed that. I don't understand why. I don't know why I'm not, I'm missing this. Because I definitely would have seen the the bow, like, fixed. You know, I would have definitely seen what's going on here. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because I use this. Maybe it's if you use foregrip, it increases it or something. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. But maybe foregrip affects it. Um, I mean, necessarily, I don't have any evidence of why it works, and that's why I'm just making a video, because, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talking about uh, the, the, the bow being nerfed on past-gen consoles, and it's weird, I mean, like I said, I'm actually trying it out right now, as, as I'm making this commentary in a private match, I'm trying this out right now without a foregrip, and, um, I'm gonna see how this goes here, this isn't gonna be on the screen, by the way. This gameplay in the background. Um, no, there's not. There is no recoil on my on my bow. <laughs> so I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, but there is no recoil right now on my bow, and there is no foregrip or anything on it. Even though I do use foregrip, but there's no foregrip. There's no recoil. So technically, or apparently, you know, I've seen a lot of YouTubers making commentaries about Sledgehammer so-called releasing a patch or a nerf for the BOW 27, but apparently there is no patch. Why am I not seeing this? I don't know. Apparently a lot of people are seeing this on past-gen consoles. They said that the patch only came out for past-gen consoles, and I don't understand why I'm not receiving the patch. Uh, maybe, you know, it's a good thing. Maybe I, I can keep my overpowered BOW and have a little bit of, that, of, of an advantage. Maybe, I don't know. But... On next-gen consoles, if you look at next-gen Battle 27 gameplay, you clearly see that the, the gun has much more recoil on the on the next-gen than it does on the past-gen. And this is the problem that Sledgehammer Games has been uh, keep running into, and that's the fact that they can't have an update come out on both generation consoles at the same time. They have to have different updates for the different consoles, and this is something that Infinity Ward actually did successful with Call of Duty Ghost. They came out with updates for both the consoles, because Call of Duty Ghost was the first Call of Duty that ever like, kind of got released for Xbox One. So, I think the Ward actually did a pretty good job with, you know, releasing both updates at the same time. However, Sledgehammer Games, this is their first time they've been thrown to the wolves and actually making a real g game for the first time by themselves. You know, like I said before, but their big boy diapers off. They finally, you know, they're making their, made their first game. And I think it's a pretty successful game. I think they really revolutionized Call of Duty a lot. And I think it's good, but there's obviously a lot of things they need to fix or just tweak out just a little bit. Because, you know, like I said, it's their first time making a video. So, I, I'm, <laughs> God, but, fucking damn. It's not their first time making a video. It's their first time making a game and I think it's been pretty good pretty good feedback from the community especially the damn EM1 video that I released oh my gosh that gun pisses me off apparently also they buffed that gun that's why I made that video because I looked after I made that video of the EM1 they apparently buffed the gun that's why you get melted by it every time you see him so uh, I don't I don't know what kind what they were doing there it was a pretty weak gun before but you know take the gun out of the game for God's sake yeah it's a horrible gun that I just don't think they should even have it anymore you know and it's I don't know I don't know it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a really difficult thing to have to get through I guess but yeah Honestly, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you found this a little bit informative or not. Let me know if the Battle 27 is kind of nerfed on your past gen console if you play on past gen and advanced warfare. Because for me, it's not. For me, I have this, I have the same, like, pretty much 0% recoil and that, the amazing fire rate. So, yeah, I have a pretty overpowered battle. I don't know. It's just a regular stock battle, too. So, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching.
I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm off for Thanksgiving break now. I got like a good six day weekend. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, can't wait for Thanksgiving, even though I don't like Thanksgiving. The food sucks and family comes over. That's why I hate Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all later. Take care. Thank you, bye.